Well, good day, YouTube. Um, some of you might remember that uh, in one of my former videos, I sort of prognosed that I'll build up something that is, uh, uh, well, this water drop experiment, you know, and, um, well, uh, <laughs> by now I finished uh, the construction of this of our experiment, uh, uh, yeah, it, it proved to be a little more expensive than I really wanted it to be, and uh, well, I hope that at least it makes a little impact when I introduce it. Well, well, but judging from experience, it is just like um, well, you rip your ass off for something, and uh, most people won't recognize it. But still, I think it is. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's neat. For those of you whom haven't seen the video which I introduced earlier, I will, well, give you a little uh, overview of the project. Since I haven't really finished the software yet, uh, this thing here is flashing around, and uh, <coughs> that's not, not yet what it is is supposed to do. But the principal thing is that you have here uh, a container of water and uh, the water is well dropping down right here and this flash and I hope I well maybe I can make it even a little brighter by say using a real flash. Um this is uh, a laser beam so this is a photoelectric sensor based on laser beam. This is a uh, laser pointer which I well, <laughs> well castrated so to speak and mounted here on the one milliwatt laser pointer and this is uh, so mm, on the other side there is a phototransistor so this is the sensor and this board here is um, Omega 128 development board which I have based the experiment on but, well, probably make some dedicated circuitry for this, but, uh, well, I can do it with this. So, in the background you can see my scope, which shows uh, the level created by the photo transistor. So, and, uh, well, let's touch, you can see it right now, because this is the screen, this is the sensor line, and I go through with my finger. Well, I need, yeah, the trigger level is alright, so, you see, see what happens on the scope when I go through with my finger? Well, I can see that I have no three-dimensional information, um, so I do it like this, you see? The scope triggers for this. So, um, <clears throat> now let's see what happens if I do this with water. So, sort of like a, a little proof that it actually works with water. Oh, I have to regulate this so it's good. Well, you see? This is what the water up does. <laughs> well, well it's, it's getting slower and slower because that this is a problem of <clears throat> so. sensor right now. Well, that's a little, that, that's a piece of the problem, alright. That you can make it drop in a way that it is really dropping. <laughs> and it's bouncing alright, because this is probably due to um, the properties of the water drop, but, um, yeah, you, you'll have to, to, 
I'll have to do something to get this sent un under control by the software of the microcontroller, but well, yeah, so far, this is the idea, and if you think it's stupid, well, sure, it's, you could say that it is, yeah, I'm not really sure whether I should be proud about it, so, you could just drop me a line, message me your thoughts on this, and uh, I'd be happy to hear from you, and uh, thanks for watching one more time.